get ready with me while I tell you facts about myself. So I am 17 years old and I am from Norway and I was born at my summer house here in Norway actually. <laughs> but our summer house is actually sold so that's a little sad. I live at home with my two sisters and my mom. My parents got divorced when I was in sixth grade which was pretty hard moving back and forth. But what was even harder is that my dad died when I was 14, which has been a rough ride. I don't speak about it too much because I kind of like to keep my feelings to myself or not to the public at least. I'm very interested in media, photography, makeup and um, modeling. So I would definitely like to pursue one of those things in the future, or maybe all of them. My mom is the daughter of the king and queen here in Norway. I am not a princess, but it does make the king and queen my grandparents. Um, since it's like my normal, I've always lived like this and I didn't have a choice to be born where I was born or who I was born by. So that's just kind of my normal and that's why I don't really talk a lot about it because it's just how it is. I did used to find it really hard to find real friends because some people thought my family was more interesting than me. But I am very lucky to have found really good friends who don't care about my family at all. I am an Aries, like my dog and my sister. So we're all kind of a little April gang while my little sister, my mom and my dad all have birthdays in September. So they're like Virgo and Libra. I am going into my second year of Norwegian high school, which is like senior year in the US, for example, like 12th grade. And I'm a little nervous. It's starting on Monday. And yes, I am a Swifty. I am an introvert, but an extrovert with the right people. My favorite colors are green and red, but not really together. My favorite movies are Tangled and Pitch Perfect. After my dad died, I've learned a lot about mental health. My dad couldn't live with his own demons and it's made me really think about everything twice. Tell your loved ones you love them. I know everyone says it, but really do. And it's still really hard even though it's almost been three years. and It'll probably be hard for the rest of my life, but that's okay. I also really like reading and making food. I had a baking obsession in sixth grade. Like, obsession. When I was six, I broke my arm on an inflatable slide, something called Leo Slecklan, and they had to get rid of the slide because of me, so I wouldn't sue. Even though it was my fault. And I've also lived in London for two years. And here's my outfit. Get ready with me as I tell you facts about myself that no one asked for. My name is Stephanie, I like it when people call me Steph, and I'm 22. I was born and raised in Hong Kong and I lived in New York for four years because of college. I went to NYU for film and minored in child and adolescent mental health. One of my biggest insecurities is my height. I'm 5'2 and a half. Been in the front row for all of my school photos. Sometimes I feel like I'm taken less seriously because I'm small and I always get called honey or sweetie by strangers. I'm Chinese and I can speak Cantonese and a bit of Mandarin. I'm an only child. I like candles, but I have a fear of open fire in an enclosed space, so I never burn them. I'm a Sag Sun Taurus Moon Aries Rising, have no clue what any of that means. I'm so bad with lyrics, I don't know the lyrics to any of my favorite songs, I just make up random words when I sing them. I'm a dancer, I've been dancing since I was four. I love any and all kinds of food, I love trying out new food, hate milk though. I love spending time by myself and being alone. The most useless and random questions always pop up in my head, so I always Google a lot, or I ask the people around me annoying ass questions that they most likely don't have an answer for. I get major social anxiety sometimes, especially after COVID. I feel like I've lost any and all of my social skills. My dog Amber is my whole life. Okay, and I'm ready to go. See ya. Get ready with me while I tell you random facts about myself. I'm 19, but I turn 20 next month and that absolutely terrifies me. I will be entering my sophomore year at Penn State this fall. I danced competitively for seven years and a lot of people thought I was on Dance Moms, but I was not. I did get a scholarship to go to their boot camp and I got to meet all of the girls there and Abby Lee. She was not very nice. 
I also ran track in high school and I made it to Penn Relays two years in a row. My best events were high jump and the 400. Up until college, I was so hard on myself about getting straight A's. I only ever got one B in AP US history. I was in chess club in elementary school and I also played piano, which I really wish I stuck with. I ran for student government and I was treasurer. I've never been out of the country, but when I do, my dream location is Italy. The morning is my favorite time of the day and I almost always wake up by 7.30 or 8. I prefer hot coffee over iced. I'm a little bit of a homebody, but I've been working on that. Lastly, my fingers are double jointed. Get ready with me while I tell you facts about myself. My full name is Fernanda Jimenez, but ever since I was a little kid, everybody called me Fertu, always. I am from Uruguay. I was born and raised here. Uh, I live here my whole life. A lot of people think I am from America or Brazil, but I'm not, I'm from Uruguay. I am an only child, but I also have three siblings. My parents had previous marriages and previous kids, so I have brothers and a sister, but I also am an only child from them together. When I was nine, I got diagnosed with anxiety and I've been fighting it since then. I've tried different type of therapies for almost 10 years and yeah i'm still here i met seba through social media and we facetimed for a few months and then he wanted to meet me but he couldn't come to my country because the borders were closed but um my parents had no money and i had no money to fly to see him so i had to use some money that i have in a travel agency to fly to see him i've been dancing since i was six um, I've done a lot of stuff like ballet, hip hop, reggaeton, jazz, and other stuff that I don't remember. I like having a small amount of friends and it's been like that my whole life because every time I try to have a bigger group, it just doesn't work out for me. I am very impulsive when it comes to my thoughts, so if something pops in my head, I'm most likely gonna say it out loud. I've been having trouble sleeping and an extreme fear of sleeping at night specifically ever since I was nine. I am really, really intense when it comes to love. So if I love you, I am most likely going to say I love you like a hundred times a day. Both of my parents are team coaches. So I spend most of my childhood inside of gyms. I do not like going to places with a lot of people. It scares me and I just don't feel comfortable at all. Ever since I was little, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. I used to record myself talking to a camera for hours and hours every single day. And the makeup is done. I hope this video helped you to get to know me a little better. And I'll bye. Get ready with me while I tell you fun facts about myself. I saw Brooklyn do this. So my full name is Abby Roberts. I'm 21 years old and I'm originally from Leeds. I'm not American guys, but I moved to London in the start of this year. I'm really close with my family and I always was growing up. My dad, aka Sola Phil, and my mum, Mama Roberts, you might see them replying to literally every single comment in the comment section. <laughs> and my sister is Charlotte Roberts. I was always very artistic growing up. I absolutely adore art, music, fashion, painting, all that good stuff. And my house was an absolute mess growing up, but thank you to my parents. They loved it. <laughs> I am terrible at any physical activity. My big three is Leo Scorpio Scorpio. I started doing social media at just 11 years old. My first video was on YouTube doing my sister's makeup and I didn't blow up until TikTok at age 17. I'm actually too sexy so I can't drive. I've always been into music and when I was little me and my cousin used to write and perform songs for our family. I was supposed to move to Los Angeles before COVID but I don't think I would anymore. I like London too much. I have three tattoos currently. One of them is a stick and poke that I did on my ankle last night. Here it is. I actually wanted to be a tattoo artist growing up. My favorite movie is Edward Scissorhands or literally anything Tim Burton. I have had literally every phase known to man, emo, chav, e-girl, you name it. It's a bit embarrassing. Actually, do you know what? It's character development. It's not embarrassing. Here's my Karen haircut. I had braces for two years. Off camera, I wear these bad boys. I thought that I was fully asexual until I was like 17 and then I got my first boyfriend. I think I just hit puberty really late to be honest. And I've been in two relationships in my life, both ended horribly. My favourite singer is Lana Del Rey. I love that woman. I have loved her since I was 12 years old. 
I got married to my best friend Sophie in Vegas last month. Here's my beautiful wife. I only started performing my music live in January this year and I currently just got off tour with Halsey, which is mad. And Halsey tattooed my wrist. I opened for them all throughout America and performed to 20,000 people. I love food and I love trying new things, but I hate cheese with a passion. I had my first studio session at 19. I had crippling social anxiety growing up and had like one or two friends throughout my entire school time. Social media definitely helped me overcome that. I'm much better now, but still I shit myself sometimes. And I bleach my hair every other month, which is why I'm basically balding. My favorite food is sushi or anything Japanese. That is it for this little get to know me. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Thank you for watching for this long. They think I'm interesting. Get ready with me as I tell you facts about myself that nobody asked for. <laughs> my name is Issa, I'm 18. I'm allergic to egg whites. I make a wish on all of my fallen out eyelashes. I sang at Carnegie Hall when I was 15. I've been in love twice in my life, I think. I have the same vocal range as Beyonce, operatically. I'm the only one of my sisters that does not have a mental disorder. I went platinum blonde for two years. My dog blue is my whole life. I'm Japanese and Taiwanese. Well, specifically Hakata and Hakka. I'm a mama's girl, like 100%. <laughs> I love all food and I love trying new food. When I grow up, I wanna be a neuroscientist or a pastry chef or a singer or a vet. I'm still kind of trying to figure that out. But there's a story, there's a family legend that when I was younger, I wanted to be a cow. Like I wanted to grow an udder. I was a little bit troubled. My love for cows still stands. I tried to be vegetarian a few months ago and it lasted a week, like a day. I currently have over a thousand notes in my notes app. I think the perfect date involves rain. I actually have two younger brothers, half brothers. I've never met them, don't plan to. When I was younger, I raised 13 betta fish. They were all blue. Their names were blueberry number one through 13. Blueberry number one, blueberry number two, blueberry number three. I go to an energy therapist once a month. Okay, that's it. I'm ready. Bye.